One na 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 na. Gentlemen, it's Salamancer, not x -Tine. You thought it was x -Tine, didn't you? Don't lie. I know you did. But this is, in fact, Salamancer. And we are, in fact, going to be casting the Mighty Ducks versus the Experiment tonight. It's going to be a big game here. Uh, I will be joined in a little bit by my co-caster from Lanified, Galvia. So we, of course, will be uh, Sal plus Galvia, a.k.a. Salvia, the casting hallucinogen. Uh, that's always fun. Uh, but this game, I gotta tell you, this is an important game, because the Mighty Ducks, I don't know the exact record so far, but the Mighty Ducks are something like 4-3 and three or 3-4, three and four. Uh, they are a contender for that 4th place spot this season, so I'm really hoping to see, uh, see good stuff out of them. Now, they basically have to win all their games, though, I think, in order to dethrone our 4th place players right now, or else maybe like Area 51 or Experiment would just have to start doing poorly for the rest of the season. So we'll see. Uh, looks like these guys are actually doing some talking on the server right now, which is going to make things slow down. I'm going to start uh, telling them to stop doing all their singing. So you guys will have to give me a second. This will be a great game though. I am looking forward to it. There we go. Just had to just had to finish telling Dummy there that uh, you know STV does get killed when they do that. He's cool. Dummy's a cool guy. Uh, did just kill himself though. That was kind of cute. Anyway, I was watching uh, I was watching the ducks earlier, and it looks like Galvia may have just gotten back. So Galvia, what's going on, man? Hey Sal, what's up, man? Sorry I had to go AFK there right, at, right as the cast was starting, kind of sucked. But uh, hey guys, thanks for having me on the cast. Really excited to do some casting here. This exciting match on Gravel Pit. Should be a good time. It should be, and Gravel Pit is always such a weird one because sometimes a team you think should win simply doesn't win at all. Um, and, I mean, we're looking at a game between Experiment and Mighty Ducks where Experiment are the favorites, but the Ducks have been kind of a Cinderella story this year and could actually get to land. Yeah, take a look at the actual... Uh, oh, actually, I can't see their, uh, their scores right now, but I'm pretty sure the Mighty Ducks are right now are up to 3-4 and four in Invite right now, which is pretty good compared to... The, if you're not in the, those top four teams like the Experiment, uh, Quantic, and like Area 51, and the really the good teams that always go to land every year, it's really impressive actually to get some wins off those teams. And they're looking like they're going to be able to maybe take this back if they can win a couple more games, and uh, maybe head over to the land. One of the first few teams, like the underdog of the season, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the uh, the ins and outs of it. Somebody was saying, why Moonchild, why? And I, I don't know. I, now, Moonchild was on the Mighty Ducks, not seeing anybody currently called Moonchild on the Mighty Ducks, which is interesting. They could be running a backup or have gotten a, a roster change. Moonchild was uh, was one of the better players there who, who would go sniper and just consistently get, like, wicked sniping sprees. So uh, you have to appreciate that. But it looks like the Ducks are ready to go nonetheless. Um, oh, shoot, I was going to say something, but I don't remember what it was now. Anyway, uh, this is Gravel Pit. <laughs> yes, it is. Sal with the interesting commentary on the map. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so there's this big laser on top of point C, and it like points into the sky. And Anyway, Puff is just telling me that they cut Moonchild. I have to ask him about that. Damn. Hmm, so we have a little bit of time. I think it's time to do shoutouts. I think it is. And actually, Shout out to Ice. Ah, shout out to Ice. Um, Duder has a couple of important announcements that we need to go over for XTV while they get this game started. Um, and let me see, where is Duder's convo with me? Because I swear these are important. The first one, of course, is that Communities versus Pros is coming up, and you should sign up on, I think, pubcomp.com. P-U-B-C-O-M-P dot C-O-M com. That's not com twice, it's just once. I, I swear I had a combo up with Duder. There it is. There it is. Um, anyway, he did say pubcomp.com slash CVP. That's the signups for Communities vs. Pros number three. 
check it out. It is always awesome to see that 6 versus 9 thing going on. Um, I might even be playing in the next one representing XTV. We'll have to see. Uh, but also, our other announcement, we have a Dota 2 key giveaway tomorrow night. So tune into XTV tomorrow night. We are going to be giving away keys to Dota 2. That's, uh, that's my announcements for the day. Dota 2 is sick, by the way. I've had my key for about two, three weeks. Yeah, long time Dota player. Big ups to that game. Really like that. Well, the community is okay, but it, it's a lot of fun. Really enjoy uh, that video game. This game's almost ready to go. I think it is, and uh, Puff is telling me that there may have just been some roster differences. That that might be why uh, that might be why Moonchild is no longer on the Mighty Ducks. But uh, he also had to thank us for casting this because it is going to be a pretty awesome game. So uh, hopefully they they get hopefully the replacement is going to gel with the team really well. They have to go up against some strong strong players tonight. Uh, that is of course the experiment Wonderwall on Soldier along with Seagull the uh, longtime TF2 legend. Uh, and then, of course, they've got Basic on the Medic, they've got Dummy on the Demo Man, and their two scouts are Thrill and Dante. Those guys are insane. Yeah, their entire team is pretty stacked. I don't know um, if uh, you know who uh, Basic actually is, but Basic used to play really high-tier invite um, a couple seasons ago. I think his last real season was uh, right around when Complexity was really good in season 6 and 7. And he quit for a couple seasons. He's back in the game now playing Medic. He used to be the, a monster roamer. He was, prob he was probably... Um, oh my god, what's his name? Why can't I remember? The guy who invented roaming. Holy crap. Harblue. Why am I so bad at competitive, competitive TF2? Anyway, he's probably on the same level of Harblue in his prime. Really, really amazing player. Now, it's good to see him back, actually. It gives me a little bit of nerd chills. Nice. And Puff yeah, just had to come good. online one more time to tell him that uh, UKM from the Space Whales is now on the Mighty Ducks. That is who they replaced Moonchild with. So watch UKM and see if he can live up the name of, uh, of the sniping Moonchild. Rest in peace, Space Whales, by the way. Yeah, so uh, Space Whales, not, not too so hot right now. I think their team is dead. Yeah, they were they were a good team, and I mean, they were they did well in invite. They always came close to winning rounds and winning games. Really, just made exciting games happen, but they just never were able to pull it out, you know. So, I mean, that that can put a wear on some teams, you know. So, yeah, it can. And we've gone over the experiments roster. I think we probably ought to go over the Ducks roster now as well. Of course, uh, I actually don't know who their medic is right now, but I do know. Oh, wait a minute! I said Thrill was a scout for experiment. I'm so dumb. That is overplayed. <laughs> for experiment. Thrill is on the ducks. He was just on blue team and I read down without thinking about it. No, Thrill is actually, I believe, the medic for the ducks. Uh, they've got Doggles and Phobia on the soldiers. Um, their demo is right now Puffs. I, I think Puff is still their demo man. And then UKM and Decimate on the scouts. Yeah, I like the Mighty, Mighty Ducks lineup, actually. I've seen a lot of these players, not only just in MG, but just kicking around in leagues for a long time. and They're all really talented. I'm glad they all kind of came together and made a good team. Doing really well on Invite this season so far. Uh, the games I have watched them play, they've really impressed me. So hopefully they can pull it out here against uh, the legendary players that are on uh, the Experiments team. Yeah, and it, like I said earlier, it is Gravel Pit. Gravel Pit is a wacky map um, with, with stopwatch mode. It's one of the few stopwatch maps that is ever played in the ESEA League. So uh, it's... It's not one that players practice all that much uh, compared to your, you know, your bread and butter granary and gravel pit. And yes, I'm going to call it granary because uh, that's where you store grain, guys. Sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm expecting to see some wicked close stuff, or maybe just a complete stomp. Who knows? It's it's up in the air right now. Hopefully, they do get this started nice and fast, though. Yeah, it'd be nice. Gravel pit's kind of. And if you map for me for competitive 66, it's just so stacked against the defensive, uh, wow, the defensive team, the red team. Um, it's just really hard to handle. Um, if you don't pull off a perfect defense, you kind of get destroyed. You make one mistake and you're defending second. And I keep getting interrupted by uh, the STV chat. I should probably turn that off. Oh, it looks yeah, like we're actually getting ready too, to go. Yeah, there you go. They are getting ready to go. And just real quick, while they get ready to go, I think Gets Jam has, uh, he's on cameraman right now. He has a little sound clip he wants to play for you all. My ferret just had a little accident on the floor. My ferret just had a little accident yet, on the floor. But, uh, I found it hilarious. <laughs> anyway, 
Match is live here between the Mighty Ducks and Team Experiment, and uh, Ducks are playing a man down right now. Not sure what happened there. Oh. Strategic disconnect. Yeah, it's, you know, those are important. Anyway, Experiment will be on defense first. Um, so, of course, Experiment are the ones that are going to want to set up their sentry. They don't have an engineer, though. No sentry gun on this uh, defense here. It looks like they're going to try to do some silly scout stuff. I really don't agree with running without running a uh, uh guess real quick, gun. I think the title card may still be up, so let's go ahead and, uh, you know, swap that. <laughs> and there you go. It uh, looks like our man from the Ducks did rejoin, so they are uh, they're all going to be ready to jump out of those spawn doors and start fighting. Four seconds left. Here we go. This is going to be the Mighty Ducks versus the Experiments, and so far... Looks like the experiment's all pretty much set up towards B. Um, actually, where is their defense right now? It is in such a wonky spot. Um, <coughs> no, excuse me. Right now, they're all looking at A and kind of sitting on C. This is really weird. I've never seen a defense like this before. Yeah, it's kind of a metagame defense. So they expected them to be uh, pushing into A and then trying to capture there and try to get a couple picks on them. Blue Team popping their Uber, their Uber battle going on here. Red, or red team soldiers are even able to jump up there and take out Puff. And uh, Phobia scared is down as well. So the blue team's offensive there is actually going to fail. Nice defensive actually by the red team. I'll go over that in a second. I'm sorry I took your action away from you, Sal. Oh, no, no problem at all. Uh, the experiment played a, a really weird defense, and I don't think the Ducks are ready for it at all. They did get the cap on A, which is pretty standard. They got in about 43 seconds, a nice time for it, because they had both scouts standing there getting that double capture time. Um, the Ubers are even right now. And so it's possible for the Ducks to get uh, just a couple pushes together here, maybe beat the experiment. But where is the experiment's defense right now? Uh, looks like they are now standing out in front of B. Yes, right under cross B. But uh, that hold there and they choke between A, or rather B and C, um, is really good for picking off the sketch to come back around um, after the cap. And if you aren't running an engineer, it gives you a good positional advantage right off the get-go when they push out through B. Um, to get the jump on them and play aggressive. I really like the choice actually to run that defense. Engineer's pretty standard as you do see the spam kind of coming in. They're trying to poke in, but uh, that kind of defense is just really, really good uh, against an aggressive team like the Mighty Ducks. Yeah, oh, Uber popped a little bit early here for Experiment. Looks like they are trying to force their way into the Ducks, and the Ducks is on Doggles right now. He uh, is getting some damage down on Dummy, but really this Uber is not doing a heck of a lot so far. They've, they've sent uh, Phobia straight into the enemy medic and now Seagull is down, so that's uh, a for each team, but the Ducks are pushing in here trying to get a bunch of damage put down on the experiment. Now Dante has gone down as well. Wonderwall down. The Ducks could actually end up taking these guys out and it's just basic and dummy right now. Dummy is surrounded. He's taken down. That's a wipeout for Experiment on defense. The Ducks should be able to start capping B, and we're going to have Puff set up some sticky traps here in front of the doorway, so they are probably going to cap this. Yeah, with the 70% Uber advantage, it looks like it should be a pretty easy capture for uh, the C point there, unless they run some crazy heavy play by Outplayed, but uh, just really just textbook play by uh, Mighty Ducks, forcing the pop on the demo man after getting a lot of spam damage on him, and then just walking in with their Uber advantage, and just killing the red team, pushing them all the way back over to the, the left side of blue, which is not where you want to be on defense. So nice play on their part. Let's see if they can actually take this as they push in here to see now. Yeah, the heavy O plate here is getting buffed up to full 450 health. Overheal, of course, uh, blue that team does drop head. down pretty quickly. And oh no, Thrill. What happened, man? Sneaky, sneaky trap there by uh, actually Dummy. Nice job on his part to actually uh, dead that. As soon as the medic walked through without that pop, he should have popped it a little bit. Actually, I'm sorry, it was a forward pop or forward sticky trap inside the house. And the scouts going down here. Ducks, Dog were going down as well. Really low life here for the blue team. Looks like they're gonna have to back out. Nice defense um, by the red team. Actually losing basic there though as well. So they don't have any uber advantage. But uh, blue team pretty uh, pretty in pieces there. So looks like that easy push that I thought they might actually have never actually occurred. Oh played playing the heavy as well, standing on top, they're doing a ton of damage. Yeah, Oplate as the heavy is going to be the man to watch right now, but remember there is a big uber advantage for the Ducks, and they are running crits. Thrill is on the Kritzkrieg, so I think we're going to see them push in with Puff, taking some magical stickies, seeing if he can't get some crazy damage down on the experiment. But remember, everything is about the time right now, and we're probably going to see... If the Ducks manage to cap it in, in a reasonable amount of pushes, we're probably going to see a... Uh, 
like a five minute cap. The crits has gone down right now. Some crit stickies taking out Seagull very quickly. But, oh no, Dummy's down as well. That's two players dead for the experiment. They don't have anything near an Uber right now. Basic is only at 50% and having a tough time finding people to heal. Phobia's going for that kill, but he gets taken down. There's a lot of hurt players right now on the ducks, but there's a lot of dead players in the experiment. And now with uh, two standing on the point, that's a times three capture. It's, oh my gosh, this is going to be pretty close to a capture. Uh, I think that's going to be it. There you go, the Ducks take it in about four and a half minutes. Not a bad time at all. Yeah, actually really solid time. Anything under five minutes is really, really hard to deal with. Um, the seven minute cap time is, or what am I talking about? I forget, oh my god, I haven't played this game. Well, what are you time. talking about? I don't know, a boot. Sorry, I'm, I am Canadian, guys. <laughs> Shout out to uh, the Frigid North and our polar bears and igloos. But I'm fairly sure... Um, like a five minute cap time is pretty good for invite, so getting that is, uh, anything below that is going to be hard to, for, the, uh, for the experiment to deal with here, but they are an offense and they are the favorites here as we didn't mention earlier um, in this matchup against uh, the Mighty Ducks, but they might be able to pull it out. If not though, we still have another round to go through here. It is a best of three, um, each team cycling offensive and defensive, so. Yeah, and I think the experiment, it didn't look like they were really super try hard in that first round. I mean, I would have expected to see the uh, the like, behind the uh, sitting behind the tower on B and just putting up a really tough defense there. Instead, they did some really wonky stuff, which I liked. I liked it, uh, but it just it didn't seem like they were, you know, doing the optimal game theory route, as it were. I don't know if their initial defense was really poor or not or anything like that, but uh, I know they, they kind of dropped the ball there when they had to f force the pop a little bit early, playing a little bit too aggressive, but A times capture right here on A, the uh, blue team is not messing around, they want the fastest time possible, getting that cap on A, they sh but the red team is actually cycling over with two engineers, they won't be able to do this forward hold at the A choke, or at the uh, A choke and C as easily, but um, with that sentry gun that I did see earlier, let me see where that is. Yeah, there's a sentry in the Enigma Shadow right now, and of course there's a teleporter there as well, so they can reinforce very quickly. Um, the soldier standing on top of the house right now, and that is going to be Phobia playing the roaming soldier. Going to sit up there and uh, just kind of deny the ability of his opposing soldiers to jump up and deal easy damage to that sentry. Looks like a blue team soldier did manage to actually get on top of the, uh, the call there, and I'm getting... Oh, hold on, take the cast. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Get a phone call. Anyway, the Uber popped for both teams order being used. Uh, wow, the experiment losing so many players and oh, the medic basic getting basically no way you can get away. <laughs> basically, you like that? Ducks finishes them off with a good pipe. And uh, I'm sorry, Puff finishes them off with a good pipe. I'm such an idiot. So uh, that's not going to go in any frag videos. Or if it does, I hate you. And the experiment <laughs> is having to drop back just a bit. Um, they, you know, they're going to need to build up, and they're going to need to get out there and either kill Thrill or pop his Uber once he has it. That's why we see Basic pushing his team out very quickly. They're going to try to do a no Uber push, but Decimate takes out Wonderwall with a headshot right away. Uh, the experiment is going to have a really tough time pushing five on six against a Sentry, a very hardened defense right now from the Mighty Ducks. And uh, very quickly, I think we're starting to see that if you don't take the Ducks seriously, you may get... Hurt real bad. Quacked? Yeah, but, <laughs> uh, that was funny. Yeah, but, but <laughs> oh my, don't give me that. <laughs> With the Uber <laughs> advantage right now, and uh, two minutes and eight seconds left on the point, the blue team or experiment really just kind of going for desperation kills here. Three players left alive, and that's still that Uber. It's really hard for them to push in. With two minutes remaining, and still need to capture two points. It's uh, it's not very easy. And, uh, looks like Wonderwall going down there, trying to bomb, and they're trying to just get something going here, playing really aggressive. There's scouts running in here, just gonna get picked off. Kind of feel bad for the minute, 40 seconds remaining here. They still have a chance here, if they can maybe build a quick Uber and then take two captures really quickly, they might be able to do it. But with the minute 35 and they still haven't pushed, it's gonna be hard, man. Yeah, uh, almost impossible. It takes like 30 seconds to cap point B, and so you have to factor that into... Uh, so this is the last push they get. Seagull down to 17 health right now, and that guy just isn't getting the heals that he needs. Seems like there is... Was there a heavy? No, okay, that was the sentry um, starting to fire off. Uh, anyway, 
The experiment in trouble right now. They've not gotten any kills. Finally taking out Puff. Dummy with some good DM there. Uh, Seagull is still on 16 health. Crazy. Uh, but it looks like he's doing some good damage here. Does manage to kill Phobia. Wow. Uh, I, I've heard about bluffing with your health there. That was probably the best bluff I have ever seen. He walked straight into the enemy team. Nobody even shot at him. He had 16 health and got a kill. Yeah, really good play but by the experiment there. But it's just... I don't know. It, it's... For 38 seconds remaining, I can't see them taking this actual point. Wonderwall getting the teleporter there. Kind of a big hit. And uh, getting trying to get some cap on now. Unfortunately, with 30 seconds remaining, I'm just not going to get it. Wonderwall maybe trying to get some revenge kills here. A little bit of frags poking in there. Actually managing to take out a, a, a scout there. The sniper on the hill as well gets... Wow, Decimate is on fire today with that sniper rifle. Able to get a nice kill on a wonder wall there as he did decide to remain a headshot and outplayed as well Ooh. when 1v1 against that scout unfortunately can't take out two not lucky enough nope and there you go dummy getting a kill there on phobia he's actually gotten quite a few here seagull helping kill thrill as well but that is it for that round the mighty ducks take the first round and they could be well on their way to getting fourth in the season if they can win the next uh the next stopwatch round here yeah, this could end up being a pretty quick game. Stopwatch games, uh, especially on Gravel Pit, end up a lot of the times being 2-0, which is kind of disappointing. That's why I, I don't really like it that much. And uh, in a 6v6 format, at least seriously, because it's just really, it's really, really hard on the uh, defensive team. As you did see, the experiment kind of got a little bit boned last round on their B defense, and well, <laughs> no crap. Here we are. Um, looks like Ducks, Mighty Ducks are running a uh, two sentry gun play here once again. I really like what they did last round with leaving that sentry gun by the A connector going into C. So if they did decide to blow up the sticky traps and push past there, they would have ran in directly into a sentry gun and slowed down their push even more. So it, it was really creative play, but uh, we'll see if they can actually pull something off like that again with these two sentry guns. Um, I'm interested to see whether Experiment, I mean, starts, I guess, taking it more seriously? We'll find out. Uh, got Guest Jam is trying to say something to me here. I don't think they're not taking it seriously. I mean, this is a real match, so... And they are only 4-2, and two, so they could easily go negative here if they lose the next two rounds or something like that. So it's... I mean, they gotta really, uh... You gotta really try it, especially near the end of the season when mat numbers start mattering. If you're not gonna get into land or not... Just really need to uh, step up your game. Looks like they're going to push in here to the uh, the A spawn and uh, get as fast of a cap as they possibly can. I like this actually because if they only cap A and um, blue team or rather um, ducks has to uh, go into a one point situation. If they can't cap A fa as fast as they do, they actually take the round. So getting that ten times capture rate and uh, getting a really quick A cap is beneficial if you don't think you're going to be as successful in the, the B cap. But getting well, both is really important. Uh, it is true. I do think Experiment will be successful in the beat cap, but they did get a good time there. 38 seconds on A is... Um, it's tough to beat, especially if you just leave one person there to to delay it. it. It'll be enough. Nobody actually coming through the AC connector right now, and so that sentry is basically worthless there. Um, where is the Experiment going to be pushing in from right now? It looks like they're just all going to push in through short, including Oplate on the heavy once again. Yeah, pushing in the heavy there for a nice amount of damage is a little bit better than uh, running in with the scout because the actual walk-in time is a lot, but the uber's being popped here, counter uber going on, the sentry gun, you have to push back that uber, finally going down there. Um, no other kills have actually gone on the board here yet, but the blue team is in shambles right now, real life on four players here, nobody actually going down, Seagull laying down a lot of hurt here on the, the soldier on the top here. Two players down here for the red team, two players down as well for the blue team. They have lost their medic, but uh, Mighty Ducks getting out DM there, and it looks like the uh, experiment is going to be able to get in a nice cap time here on B point. Uh, Good, but the deal is right now, all four of their players are kind of sitting on the point, uh, and Phobia has already walked through the teleporter. Looks like Decimate's finished off, but Phobia could still get some good kills here. He's taken out one wall and now has to retreat with the equalizer. So there are still going to be people capping point B. Uh, but it is going to be pretty darn slow until, yeah, there you go. They finally get the, uh, pretty much everybody in here. Once again, this is that kind of thing where actually the ducks could have walked through. They probably couldn't have stopped the capture, but could have tried to delay or maybe get the medic kill. Basic is on 100% Uber right now. So this is where the experiment wants to be. 
Yeah, with the Uber disadvantage, the push there would have been really foolish if it was not successful. And it shouldn't have been successful with that Uber advantage, but if it was. But wow, getting already getting some cap time on here. No damage being dealt yet for the red team. Doggles trying to do some work here. Yeah, it seems like, oh, the experiment capped that so fast. Two minutes and 28 seconds. My mic just muted. That was cool. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool, but anyway, managed to fix that. Nice cap, actually, by the experiment. Two minutes and 28 seconds is a lightning-fast cap time. So um, it's going to be really difficult for the Mighty Ducks to kind of beat that time, but if they can do it, it'll probably be the most ridiculous invite cap I've ever seen. But uh, Yeah, well, this time around, look at this. Seagull is on the Engineer. So it looks like maybe Dante or uh, or Oplade just said, no, we don't want to play Engineer. But Seagull said, no, we kind of need one, guys. So he's... Uh, He's setting up his engineer buildings up here and actually putting a teleporter on top of the roof of B. That's going to be really uh, really difficult to deal with there for our attacking team. Oplade is on the heavy as well. Dante actually went on soldier briefly, but now he's actually switched back to scout. Yeah, so it looks like they are going to be running a scout engineer and single soldier defense with a heavy. It's, it's kind of interesting, actually, because it does do quite a bit of damage, and it's a good defensive lineup, but... I feel like having those two soldiers is really important on Gravel Pit, especially because you won't have that presence on top of the house at the start if you only have the pocket who needs to be kind of defending the medic a little bit. So I'm not oh totally sure gosh. if it's going to work out. Okay, I just I just want to point something out here. So Seagull went back to soldier. The only reason he went engineer was so he could set up a teleporter on the roof of B and get the heavy up there. That is ridiculous. Oblade <laughs> is on the roof as a heavy. Okay, that's a little bit better than having two soldiers right off the bat. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I noticed that as soon as they did switch, but I, don't know, I, was, I was talking about something stupid. I don't remember. But uh, definitely some creative play here from Experiment. Next level shit. I'm oh, sorry, don't swear. I apologize. <laughs> definitely some next level stuff going on, though. Where are the ducks right now? We've got uh, UKM sneaking around through point C. I think they're all pretty much going through C once again. You're going to try and... Uh, Try and circumvent all this stuff. There is no sentry, so they just have to go in there and, and use their DM to get in, try to kill their opponents. Uh, they are going to know a lot of players up on top of point B right now. And the Ubers are popped for both teams. Popped quite a bit later there, actually, for basic, which is uh, pretty standard. But basic is taken down. Uh, the Ducks, if they can get the rest of these kills, are going to be good. But Phobia has gone down as well. There's no medic for either team. It's just UKM and Decimate left. And no, they get wiped out. Only a minute left here. I think the experiment has won this round. Yeah, it looks like they will take it and go 1-1 here on Gravel Pit. Leading us to a, a third and final matchup. This is getting pretty exciting. This could go either way. Both of these teams have been playing really, really well, actually. Mighty Ducks are really impressing me, actually, this game. Even though this their pushes, in this case, are going to kind of fail because of Experiment's superb offensive play last round. Dog yeah, the Experiment, I mean, the Experiment pretty much ruined the Ducks on offense that uh, this round. And Doggles has been killed. Of course, Oplate is no longer going to be the, the incredible roof heavy. He is dead. And now the Experiment is losing a lot of players, but look at this, 20 seconds left. So that's going to be the round in favor of the Experiment. Yeah, unless maybe if they can get somebody on C No, actually. Never no, it's, it's just too here. late. Although, look at that Kritzkrieg actually popped there by... Uh, by... Oh. Thrill. Thrill, there we go. I'm sorry. I saw crit kills on the kill feed, and then, like, Thrill wasn't on them. And I was so confused. But anyway, the experiment taking that uh, stopwatch round, so we are going to go on to a third. Yeah, team's readying up immediately. Should be exciting. I'd like to see uh, what kind of defenses we're actually going to get out of these two teams. Normally we see a little bit more plain defensive, but both of these teams have been really, really creative, and it's pretty. It makes Gravel Pit a little bit more bearable for me to watch. Yeah, I'm I'm a big fan of of seeing creative play, and I've seen some creative play tonight. Now, uh, especially from the experiment. What I want to point out, though, guys, is that since we've got you here as a captive audience. Um, do sign up for Communities vs. Pros. That is the 6v9 event where you'll get to play against a pro team. Uh, sign up on pubcomp.com slash cvp. Go check that out. And I also want to point your attention to the fact that tomorrow on XTV we have a Dota 2 key giveaway. So, um, and apparently, dude are telling me that you will be playing against Classic Mixup. 
one of the very best teams in Invite right now. I'm not sure if I can say the best. I don't know their record at the moment, but they are up there. They are in the contendership for first place. Anyway, um, Dota 2 key giveaway tomorrow, and looks like we're starting up this final round here. Duck's going to be on offense one more time. Yeah, just to point out some uh, interesting observations by F5 and Ader in the uh, chat. Creative play, say that again when one team runs, or one team goes two snipers and two spies. That would be awesome. Um, awesome for the defending <laughs> team with like an engineer and a heavy and a couple of soldiers. Yeah, that'd let's go be play awesome. some Highlander. <laughs> Demo Knight, I've actually seen a Demo Knight in 6v6. It was ESC. Solid open. Snake. Yes, no, yeah, Solid Snake. Five. Solid Snake, oh, Demo so Knight. Oh, man. Two. Anyway, uh, setup time is ending now. The Ducks look like they want to send pretty much all their heavies. In fact, almost everyone through to B right now. They are making a big push towards B. There is no sentry on it, and in fact, is there anything on point B? No, there's not. The defense is uh, just now getting there, so it's this mobile defense that was hanging out at point C again. Um, Puff was trying to jump in and make the, the medic pop, and he did just that, but he ended up giving his life for it. Uh, giving your life to force enemy to pop uber is not a bad thing, and now there's a couple of scouts on A. Thrill did stay back in spawn, so he's got a big uber advantage, and that is going to play well into the duck strategy here. That is exactly what they actually wanted to do. They were hoping that... Uh with the bombing in of the heavies there, they would be able to get force the pop, and they managed to succeed, and that was a nice job by Puff to actually do that. So now they have a huge advantage with the good cap time on A as well, since they did send both of their scouts there. This is more of a uh, a standard uh, gravel pit push, actually, by the Mighty Ducks, and uh, more of a standard defense as well by the experiment, but it kind of got countered, so... Good job on uh, Mighty Ducks' part. Hopefully they'll be able to actually succeed in this push in here. Yeah, I mean, that's... They're going to have, oh, they were going to have an uber advantage, but apparently they didn't push fast enough, and the experiment really built their uber up very quickly. Basic doing a good job of keeping that uber at 100% now, so uh, whatever uh, whatever advantage the ducks had is gone. Pop the uber very quickly, and it looks as if the experiment will be able to defend for a little while longer. Yeah. Puff doing massive amounts of damage here. Wow. Dummy jumping up there. Actually, yeah, Seagull rather getting doggles down. Three players down for both teams here. Nice pipes by Puff taking out O plate as well as the medic here for the red team experiment. Only Dummy left alive. Can he pull it out against four players? Though I do not think he can. Scout roaming in here. Actually managing to push him back. Dummy does live there with 10 life, but the B point looks like it will be able to get captured here. And uh, the offensive for the Mighty Ducks manages to break through and crack the experiment here. May be able to actually get in here and uh Absolutely insane. The ducks are on a rampage right now, and ducks on a rampage are scary, man. Those webbed feet, those bills. I'm sorry, I just, I, it scares me. It just reminded me of <laughs> anybody who's played Skyrim knows what Fus Ro or Fusru does. Roda. Anyway, it's the push spell. And you remember that the gif with the ducks flying, you know, and they get pushed over by the wind. No. No. Okay. Almost. Somebody from Reddit will understand what I'm saying. <laughs> but when you say ducks, I think of that. And it's funny to people who get it. Sorry. Well, the experiment is sitting on last right now. Once again, they have the heavy O-plate. They also have uh, a nice sticky trap there, although it looks like it's uh, beginning to be detonated as new stickies are laid down by dummy. The Uber has come in actually through, uh, through entrance number, I don't even know what that is, but through the entrance that they were not expecting at all. Experiment loses O-plate very quickly. Good job to focus down the heavy. And can the Ducks get this cap? Right now, Decimate is behind Dummy. He's taken out the the demo, is going for the medic, taking out Basic as well. Dante is the only man left alive, and Decimate decimates him as well. The Ducks capping C, three minutes and four seconds. Really, really fast time here by the Mighty Ducks. Nice play by them, actually. Really, really good aggressive play. But uh, the experiment has done better this game, actually, so we might be able to pull it out here. No pressure, though. This is just the the final round here, actually deciding this gravel pit game. Yeah, and the Ducks kind of going standard again. They are running with the double sentry. Yeah, they've been doing this over and over again. It has given them pretty good results, except for that one time uh, where they got capped in two minutes. But uh, otherwise, it's pretty good play. Hopefully, um, their actual uh, strategy here manages to hold them a little bit more time than it has previous. Um, but with that extra sentry gun and the A connector, if the experiment does decide to actually go that way, might be uh, 
a little bit hard for them to actually get this cap time that they need. They do need below three minutes and four seconds, which is incredibly fast, so. Yeah, um, Sentry is still going to get lobbed down in exactly the same place there. And where are the experiment pushing right now? They are pushing towards A. They're going to go for the quick capture there where they know that there is no defense. Pretty much it's been the same the entire time. By the way, um, I want to give a shout out to Greg from Infused. He asked for one earlier and I totally forgot, but no. We're here now, and Greg is an awesome shoutcaster, by the way, guys. Aside from just being an awesome scout and sniper, it's pretty cool. Yeah, actually, I think I've seen him cast a couple times. He's pretty solid. Looks like the experiment's going to, once again, just kind of poke through B-side instead of going through C and being greedy. Um, Dante actually walking over there now, so you might be able to spot something. With that, actually, now that I think about it, that sentry gun at A, or at C, pointing into A, is not that sneaky because you can hear it. So... Well, and look at this, uh, O played once again on the heavy. There is no sniper to really take him out, so with... Uh, oh, actually, no, Decimate did just change out to the sniper. He's going to have to get back in position, but there should be a teleporter, so he'll be able to get there quickly. Uh, Dummy and, who is that, Seagull were both jumping on top there, and this uh, sentry's probably going to... Yeah, it did get taken out very quickly. The Uber is down for both teams right now, and it's going to end a little bit later for the Ducks. But they need to start out DMing the experiment right now if they want to win this. Wonderwall does get taken down, um, but there's still a heavy to deal with. And that guy, with all that health, no, he does end up dying. The Ducks are going to hold on here, I think. And this could be the beginning of the end for the experiment. If the Ducks can take this, it will be crazy. Yeah, with only Dummy left alive here, it looks like they will be able to hold on to this point for a little while longer. But with a minute 30 remaining, does not mean that experiment is out just yet. I'd like to see maybe... Actually, no, you can't. We don't even have time to switch for a crit streak. They're just gonna have to go something crazy and get some kind of kill. Wonderwall trying to jump in there actually gets taken out by Puff Stickies. There, gonna have to sacrifice somebody to try to take out this medic with Thrill almost having Uber. It's gonna be really hard for this uh, this cat to go, but it's still possible with another couple seconds. Wow, Decimate getting a snipe there on Seagull as he pops out through short. <laughs> yeah, this is really really tough here. We're trying to push out here through the short once again here. Decimate getting a body shot on the medic though, and with. That demo man actually managed to get him behind, but he's pushed out actually from the fight, so he won't be able to affect this Uber here. Blue Team Soldiers jumping in, the Ubers are pop. 45 seconds left, and it is anybody's game right now. The Ducks are trying desperately to stop the capture on B. There's only three players left up. Seagull, Dante, and Dummy. Seagull and Dante were both taken down. It's just Dummy left, and he's got two health. Finished off by UKM. That's going to be the game, guys. GG Ducks beat Experiment. Yeah, that's awesome. The underdogs here in this league coming back. They're going to be 5-3 uh, and three here in the league, I think. Yes. No, no, no. 4-4, four and four, sorry. I'm putting them, I think, in fourth place. Is that correct? Uh, I'm not positive about that. I don't know all of my records yet. But guys, uh, do go check out the ESEA website because crazy, crazy stuff is happening right now. The Mighty Ducks, with I think their first season in invites, may end up going to land, guys. Yeah, really impressive play on their part. I'd like to see this team go to land. If they don't go to land, this team, they're definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with next season if they do decide to stick around. But it's just a really solid game on their part. Yeah, that was an amazing game, guys. I am quite happy to have casted it. And, of course, this has been Sal and Galvia, a.k.a. Salvia, the casting hallucinogen, uh, brought to you by XTV. Thank you very much for watching. My yeah, favorite had a little accident really on the really floor. It. Man, it's always fun. Shout out to Getz on the camera, by the way. Yup. So guys, thanks. We uh we are going to be signing out for the night.